Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stone and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as Byblos going for the Tyrion Purple achievement. In the last episode, uh, a lot happened. I mean, we had like, I think before that, we had like three or four episodes where nothing happened. Then all of a sudden, the Sarukas decide to declare war on us, um, little scumbags. And uh, I was really, really scared. But we actually managed to push them back, gain a little bit of land off them, um, before they actually kind of wiped us out. They, they brought over 100,000 men on us. It was insane. Um, so hopefully we did enough damage to the guys. Um, thank God we did. And we managed to take this back, the city of, um, of Arpad, that was once ours. So we got that back. Now we only need to get this back off them. Now, I am relatively confident that if we declare war on the Seleucids at the right time, we can get it back. I'm pretty confident that that is possible. So, um, anyway, without any further ado, let's get going. We're still at war with Lehan because we were brought into the war by um, these guys through Egypt because Egypt wanted a bit of a hand. Uh, obviously, we've helped them, so uh, we're just going to do that and probably get some slaves out of it as well. I mean, might as well pull as many slaves as we can, improve the economy. Why not? Uh, we are sieging down their city there. That's fine. We do need to stop our cash, though. I am going to up the speed a bit here. I did reduce it for the wall, so I don't need to keep it that low, to be honest. Um, these guys are drilling down there. That's fine. You're going to move back over here, actually, and then I'll put you back on drilling after. You're going to stay over in Damascus. Um, hopefully, they'll have a war with Moria at some point, or they'll blow it internally. I mean, they've got to blow up, surely, to God. It's, it's got to happen. They can't stay that united. Um, by the way, I forgot, totally forgot that we could probably marry um, the woman that we wanted to marry. Yes, there we go. Um, so where is our ruler? Our ruler is here. So let's marry that girl. No problem. Uh, she's not brilliant, but she will do. Um, increase their opinion of us. Um, she's okay-ish, but what I want is these... Um, so I think we definitely get the um, blood of the Arjaj through this. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what we get if they have kids. So we'll, we'll see anyway. We'll soon find out. On time and devotion. Gain a bit of stability. That is great. Thank you. Uh, the siege has been won. Thank God for that. Let's um, keep going down here and let's try and take some of the stuff. Let's try and um, siege as much as we can down as well. Because we might as well get some slaves if we can get some. Um, let's bring them all down here. Let's just force march them through. We'll just, we'll just try and capture some pops. We might as well. There's no reason not to. Anyway, library has been built over there. That's cool. No problem. Um, probably should go. We've got a temple going here. Probably need another lib, to be honest. Let's go for a lib. Academy. And then we'll go for another lib when we get the cash. Let's just try and fill out these... Um, yeah, let's just spend the cash. Let's fill them all out. We need to. We need to, we need to. I need more... Um, I need the better tech ratio. Des we des that's what we desperately need. Uh, sir, it's quite nice. It's quite good, actually. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, what next, what next, what next? These guys are moving. So we are taking all this. That's cool. They just occupy everything. The more stuff we occupy, the better. We're just going to start start taking... Um... Can I go up here, actually? Can't go down there. Let's go to Egra. Or if he's going there. I don't know if he's going. And they're going up to Demi, so we'll go down here. We'll go to Egra. We'll just start sieging stuff. I mean, why not? It just gives us extra extra slave pops. Come on, come on. There we go. We'll take this, then we'll siege down that fort. Please tell me I can get somebody. And uh, no one pop died, so we didn't take anybody there. Just siege this down. We'll just siege everything down here. Library has been built over there. That's cool. Here we probably need... Yeah, I'm definitely going to go for... Temple. Lib. And an academy when we can. I do have a bit of political influence, so I'm very tempted to spend it. Maybe... Do I need another trade route up here? Not really at the moment. Down here, neither. So let's go on the... Provincial Investment. Yeah, let's do install provincial procurators. I think that's. I think that'll be cool. Especially this will be the de facto capital once we form Phoenicia. So we might as well get all that extra, um, that extra cool stuff, extra pop output and stuff. So, all right. We have a bit of aggressive expansion. Hopefully, it will reduce. What is our diplo stance? It's the mercantile stance. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Doesn't reduce very much. What about the guy in office that's supposed to reduce it? Doing a pretty good job actually. 
pretty good job. A shame of a governor. So in the midst of a fallow season, Bonalcar Mashid, one of our most esteemed governors, held a vast and lavish party. I demand payment to the territory. Demand his resignation. Um, I'm going to demand payment to the territory. You can lose a bit of loyalty. It's not a problem. Um, is our ruler gaining a bit of popularity? He is gaining popularity, and we are gaining stability. So maybe the legitimacy will rise a bit now. Very close. Hopefully, it'll prove. Hopefully, the proving legitimacy will help increase it a little bit because we're not very legitimate at the moment. I've got to say. And we have no heir, so we need an heir. We need the woman to be pregnant. She's a jealous woman, but please be pregnant. Let's grant you a holding. You might like me. There we go. Is there anyone who's pretty much not loyal? You're pretty loyal. What about in the tech area? Yeah, I'm going to grant you a holding just to get your loyalty up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll watch out what happens for the others. Right, let's quickly take this. Um, can I actually split some off here? Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'll just detach them a bit. We'll wait and then we'll just go around and we'll start pillaging. That seems to be the best bet. I call down an omen. Um, probably go for the... Commerce income. I need the cash. We need the cash here. I've got a lot of development to do, so we need the money. We definitely definitely need the money. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully we can uh, capture some more pops here. An academy has been built down there. That's cool. Um, let's go for an academy. Might as well. Um, what about here? That's a settlement. That's okay. Got the buildings in this city. There is a city I want to build up here. I remember somewhere here. Yeah, there. That's where I want to build it. That'll be a really nice city to have. It's got ceramics, so... What next? Let's go around here. So here I've got the buildings I need. Here we haven't. What about in here? Here I haven't got any of the buildings yet needed. So I think we should just go for maybe a temple. Just to help convert the rest of the pops. And then after that we'll go for Lyben Academy. And then what about up here? That's a city as well. We could probably do with some more stuff there. We'll get, we'll get a building in there. Okay. The siege down here has been won which is great. So you're going to go here. we are going to go up here. Let's just quickly take the stuff. Hopefully we'll get on it before they take it. Come on. There we go. So this will enable us to hopefully, probably, take some pops. Did we take anybody? I don't think we did. That's a shame. I would have liked to probably take some pops out of this place. Fill up our realm with some slaves. It's always good because we can promote them or demote them to whatever we want. Come on, come on. Please. Okay, we've got a pop. That's cool. Actually, you go there. You're going to go up here, actually, to Soaki or whatever. Okay, we're making 14 gold per month now. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat, pretty neat, pretty neat. We just need to quickly finish this up, get the army back, because the truce with the Seleucids will nearly be over. And I don't want them warring me again. So I didn't get anybody there, did I? Not really. Um, probably should go for an access with these guys. Go for military access. And I'm going to go for military access with the Jews as well. Oh, we've already got military access with the Jews. Um, yeah, let's get you guys back. Um, do I have... I thought I had military access. Where, where's the military access? I thought I, I thought I had access to these guys. Um, got access with Nabatea. Got military access with Judea, so I should be able to cross that. Um, oh well, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to unite them. We'll just travel along. We'll just force marching back home now. There's no reason to do anything else. But let's quickly bring them back home. We need to seriously, seriously, seriously stockpile more resources. Because I don't trust the Seleucids one bit. So you're going to march all the way back home. I'll probably bring you into Sir. That's where we'll go. Get another building here. We'll go for the... Live at Academy, we'll get everything rolling. Probably need something up here as well. Um, shoring up the fences. So the denizens of the territory of Athar have been feuding with their neighbours in Arpad. As a result, an impressive fortified wall has been erecting in Athar, quite outdoing the efforts of their rival. Where is Athar? It's all the way up here. You know what? 
I'm going to gain another fort level there. Because that's where they're going to come through. And if I have another big fort, we're going to fort that, fort that up. Hell yeah. That's going to take them a lot longer. Um, call for peace. Yeah, but we know. I mean... Yeah, I'm, I'm still at peace with you guys, but I don't really want to... Hopefully Egypt will peace out. I mean, God, all of Lehan is occupied. There we go, finally. Did they give me anything? I don't think they did. No, they didn't. Um, did they take anything? Egypt took this little bit here. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. They could really do as they see fit, to be honest. Um, okay, let's get ready in Syria. What I want to do here is definitely go for the mill. Yeah, let's go for the mill. Because this is going to be our capital. We do, as you know, we need the excess dyes in there. We need like five surplus in dyes. So the mill would give us extra slave ratio, so an extra slave output. So let's um, get a couple of mills going, I think. Seems to be the best thing to do there. Um, Acker here, nothing really yet. We'll just wait to stockpile a bit more cash. Whoa, what's going on here? What the hell? Oh, this is fantastic. Or is it fantastic? What the hell? Did they just win a war or did they pretty much tell them to... Oh my god. Okay. Hopefully we can... This is brilliant. Okay, this is really, really good because this means that... I don't think they have an access. Which means that they cannot cross over to me. They could only come by ship, which is going to take them forever. Okay, thank you, the fridge. Well... Thank you and maybe not thank you, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, okay, now that is incredible. Maybe they, they must have, they must have like, the governors must have uh, changed sides. They must have been really disloyal and they must have, like, defected over to the other side. That is interesting. So this means that, oh, we have a child as well. I'll have a look at that after. So please tell me you got the blood of the, yes, there we go. We finally got the blood of the Arjad. So there we go. So I've actually managed to breed that into the family, into the dynasty, which is fantastic. Um, so we need to go for this. Okay, we're going to go for this as quickly as possible here. I'm going to restock. I'm going to resupply. Probably get as much stuff as we can. However, the Seleucids could march through this way. Unless they have an access with... Maybe they won't give. I don't know. Because if they can come all through this way... Okay, I need a fort here. We need a fort up there. Okay. We'll get a fort there to block their passage. We need to take this. We need to take an advantage. Take this advantage pretty quickly. Um, the fridge have no manpower, so I think it is a right time to pretty much do this. Nearly, I'm going to get the. No, I'm not going to lose. Get any extra stability here. I'm just going to stockpile a little bit of gold, and then I feel like we could definitely, definitely take that off the Seleucids. Definitely. Um, the Sephet, What do you want? Uh, well, he died, obviously, not what you want. So I'm just going to put another guy. We'll put Matan Eshbalid here. He's not brilliant, but he will do the job. He will definitely do the job. Um, have, have, have we built some buildings in here now? Um, what do you want? The preeminent Yadalmic Barker. So some say that throughout Biblos there is one constant. The deeds and the character of Yadalmic Barker precede him from the villas of the capital to the shabbiest border town. Um, do I want to be friends with you? No, I don't. What are you? You're just the head of the Barker family, but... Um, I don't want to waste that gold, so I'm going to lose a little bit of popularity. Our legitimacy is changing a little bit, because there is some support for pretenders. Who's supporting this guy? Um, let's have a look at the different heads of family here. Show families. I'm free player. There we go. Show family. Um, no, that's me, of course. Maybe you. Demand support for the air. I've still got a lot of tyranny, though, so I can't really do that. So It doesn't matter. I think we're fine for the moment. Anything we can go for here? Nothing really at this point in time. Um, here we're going to go for some buildings. I think we should go for... What should I go for? We definitely want... An academy. We definitely want... A lib. Uh, maybe another lib. But we'll see. That's enough for the time being. Uh, we've got our tech grade up quite nicely. So that's pretty cool. And these guys are back home. Just going to put you on drill. We'll get your morale back. And then I'll store some cash and I think we go to war against the Seleucids. Egypt would come in. They still have a fair amount of manpower. They have a lot of cohorts. So they could come and help us. And 
yeah, I, I feel like it, I feel like it could be done. I feel like it could be done, and especially do it before the fridge decides to go for it. That would be the best thing. But yeah, may, maybe next episode. If I can start the war in this episode, I will do that. Um, if I can't, it doesn't matter. Um, new military structure. So it seems Zaspes, so this guy here, he's, whoa, he's losing loyalty. Um, okay, so basically 50% of the troops will become loyal to him. I'm actually going to bribe you, mate. He's not Canaanite. The tyranny doesn't help. Alright, I'm going to bribe you quickly. Because I don't want you to be too peed off with me. Um, do I have a better general than you? I don't think I do, because they're all loyal to that guy. They're all loyal to Disaspes. Um, he's not... Okay, this is a um, slight issue. We need to pay close attention to that. Someone died of dysentery. He was a researcher. of The civic researcher. Oh god, they're really bad. I need a new researcher. I need to find a character. We need to befriend somebody. Does my guy have money? He does. He has a fair bit of money. Um, are you still disloyal to your... No, he's bribing him, into. He's bribing him, obviously. Uh, Mass are quite big. Let's see if we can bring in... Somebody who's good with finesse. This guy's pretty damn good. But he's very loyal, so that's a bit of a pain. We need someone who's not really loyal. Like this guy. Bicon, he's not very loyal. He's better than what we've got, so we'll make friends with you. We'll do that. Um, however, we've got someone scorned, and it is our family, the Anelid. Is there anybody we can get off an office? Um, anybody who is pretty much this royal tutor we could get rid of. We could put we could put him in. Yeah, let's get rid of the royal tutor. We'll put you there instead. That solves that problem. Um, I'll just put a research. Oh, there we go. That solved the problem. Put Yudpan Metallid. The one we got rid of, we put him there now. That solves the problem. There we go. I'm still going to befriend the other guy, though. It, it could be useful. We make a little bit of cash. Um, I'm probably going to... What do I do here? Lose political influence? Yeah, I'll lose the political influence to befriend him. Why not? Uh, you need to drill, my friend, desperately. I can go for some... Oh, we've got another... Oh, the monthly tyranny. I do want that. Another tech level now. I want the monthly tyranny minus 0 0.01. Inspire disloyalty cost as well. Um, God, I don't want to lose... No, I can't afford to lose... Um, try and make a moderate amount. Let's see how that goes. I can restock my gold up anyway. Oh, I do really want to take on uh, the Salukids now. I really do. I really do, I really do. Let's go for a tradition here. Um, exotic gifts. Oh god, I can't afford to... Camel. I can't afford to give him all the stuff he wants. We do the phalanx tactic. Yeah, let's go for that, because then the next thing is mercenary army maintenance. So the phalanx tactic, let's see how that works. Oh, that is good. That is good, that is good. Okay, we'll flank it. We'll flank the tactic. And yeah, we spurned. So he wasted all that cash for him not to join us. Uh, Juba, the royal tutor's crap at his job, so we lose stability. Thank God for the horrible event. Sarcasm, but oh well. Um, <laughs> so we'll go the phalanx tactic. We'll go the phalanx tactic. We'll use the proper Greek traditions, well, the Greek portion of our traditions, which is the phalanx tactic. Is there any fort up here? I don't think there's any. There's one fort. One damn fort. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I really want to declare war on this guy. I really do want to take it. I'm just going to stockpile enough gold. Maybe. Do I want to change someone? Let's 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 wait and see. Let's wait and see a little bit. Right, I've got cider. I've got a. Lovely little slave thing there. That increased pop productivity. Or slave productivity and increased his slave ratio. Could do a building the city here at some point as well. Definitely. Uh, what is the conversion going like? The conversion is going alrighty, alright-ish. Still not very fast here. Well, it, it, it's going to do it. It's going to take its time, but once it does go, I think it will be alright. What about culture-wise? This is all. F oh, this is already Phoenician down here. So that's Hebrew. 
This is Phoenician. This is Phoenician. This is, yeah, this is pretty much going all going all smoothly down there, actually. It's not really much of an issue. Um, what do I want here? I probably want something. I There was something I saw. I'm pretty sure it was monthly tyranny. We'll go for that. Try and get it down. It's quite high. It's very high, actually. We need to get it really, really, really low down. Uh, can't colonise that just yet. Yeah, I really want a war. They're at war over there, the fridge. But they're not ready to war against me just yet. So I think we've got to go pretty quickly. I'm probably thinking, start the next episode, we can definitely take it to the Seleucids. Uh, Epimens died of a freak accident. The Sahoma did. Um, oh, we've got this guy here. I'll put you instead. Eshmonius Barker, you're pretty damn good. Increases army morale, and you can get it up quite well. I think we have a decent advantage over them as well. We do. A lot of... Way better tech advantage. Um, is there any law we could do here? The religious conversion is the one I want. Or is it? Or maybe the culture one. E either way. Probably the culture one to offset the minus 5 that we have due to our heritage. Or minus 5%. Anyway, bit of food. The court is bustling with psychophants, claimants and pretenders. It is of little surprise, therefore, that two of the most ambitious claimants to the throne of Byblos found themselves at odds. Yeah, I'm going to let them fight. They can fight it out. Not my problem. Oh, this kid's not bad. 4-3-0. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Um, okay, we need a little bit more cash. And then I would be satisfied. Parthia, Batria, Gera. Okay. Batria, Parthia, and Gera. We bring in Thrace and Egypt. Egypt... Oh, well, not really yet, but war with the Lut. And they're losing their war. Hmm. What about Thrace? They're not at war just yet. They might be able to help us. Do they have ships? They do. But I reckon we could take them out on our own, you know. If we were to stop piling enough gold, then I have a feeling that we could do it. Ah, look, there we go. We're getting rid of them tribals. That migration thing is working. That's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Oh, it's going to take a bit of time for the rest now, but at least we are demoting them. Um, let's get rid of that building now. I think it's pretty useless. And I'm going to go for a farm. It would increase food. Actually, no, we're going to keep the cash. I don't need to do that. What I am going to do, though, is uh, spend another bit of my political influence in order to install provincial procurators. Aha. Why does that only have... Oh, that has 20% as well. Okay. It all has 20%. Um, have no more import routes there. That's strange. Um, let's do the install provincial procurators here. Let's import some stuff here. Maybe some livestock from over there. Yeah, that's fine. Get some food going. Um, maybe some vegetables. More food. Yeah, let's get some food going in there. There we go. Okay, that's solved. Um, do I have any more trade routes available to us? Not really. Nope, no more trade routes available. Okay. We could probably take this off him as well. It would be good. Um, got a bit of cash, bit of manpower. A war. A Seleucid war would be nice. Do they have access? Yeah, they don't have an access. I'm pretty sure they don't, they don't have any access. So the only way they're going to get to me is by boat. Anyway, a discreditable delight. So a young woman named Suhema, of little note until now, has arrived at the palace in Gerbal, bearing a baby uh, who claims she's the son of the Suffet. Yeah, but, oh, no. No, 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 no. Make this... I don't want gain tyranny, though. Oh, for God's sake. Lose legitimacy, whatever happens. I'm just going to do that one. I don't want to gain tyranny, and I don't want the child, so I'm just going to keep it secret, but the child will never want for anything. So I lose gold. That's not cool. Not cool, my man. Not cool. We are gaining a little bit of legitimacy now. Um, I'm probably going to beef it up a bit here. Yeah, let's beef it up a little bit so we gain a little bit per month. It will reduce the tyranny reduction a little bit, but I like a kind of a balance. Okay, we're going all the way up here now, fellas. All the way over there. You're going to stay down behind. I hope that we could... Do something. I mean, I hope... It, yes, they're at peace now. Egypt are at peace. They have no gold, but they're at peace. 
Maybe they could just stockpile a bit. Um, what if I was to declare war now? Bithynia would not come. Because they wouldn't have any military access. What if I were to befriend Armenia? Nope, they wouldn't want anything to do with me. Maybe Maka? No, they're quite far away. Hmm. Mm, well, uh, we don't really need them. We don't really need Bithynia, really. Just these guys were paying. Maybe Moria will um, annoy them at some point. It would be nice. But they haven't really had a war yet. That's what I find really strange. I really would have liked them to probably go to war together. Um, now, I don't know what you guys think, but I probably opt for going for it now. I'm very, very, very tempted to go for it. Bactria is all the way up there. They can't come and join Parthia. If, I think we can get a lightning war going. They're blocked off by the fridge. I highly doubt they're going to come and cross. Um, down here, we could also probably take this little bit off them as well. It would be nice. I'm just incredibly tempted to do so. You know what? I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Uh, God. Do I... Or do I go for it? Do I go for it? I think we go for it. Because they, they can't get anywhere near us. I mean, the only way they could go through is marching all through this way. And even though they've got to have an access with these guys. And I don't think they will give... Especially if I can ally myself with Lehan. They won't give it them. So let's um, look at the Diplo section. Okay, and I'm going to ally Lehan. Just for the war. Okay. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Because that means they could attack them and walk through. You know what, I'll just dissolve it. I'll just dissolve it in, on the 30th of November. I'll, I'll dissolve it. Yeah, because of course they could, they could just get through. But I am going to improve the opinion of us. Yeah, that was a bit stupid. That was a bit stupid. Just going to dissolve the alliance there. Um, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'd, uh, that was a silly thing to do. I didn't really need that. Because, of course, if they come to war with me, then they can have access to it. So, I don't really want that. Um, are we ready? I think we are. Should I give it a go? You know what, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I'll do a little bit shorter one, but then I'll just declare war straight away in the next episode. I mean, it's about 28 minutes, uh, two minutes shorter than the normal format. But um, yeah, I'll just declare war straight straight off the bat on the next episode, and we'll just take them out um, and see if we can pretty much get that Phoenicia, Phoenicia formed. Anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more great Imperator Realm content, also consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, as per usual, thanks for joining me, and hopefully catch you in the next one. Later, people.